Hello everyone. Hope everybody is taking good care of themselves as well as keeping themselves busy at their respective locations. Coming back to our speaker Sunday series, we have a speaker number four of the series, Tanmay Hingmire. I am little more excited about this speaker because she is the youngest speaker on the speaker Sunday series. She is a fifth grade student and she would like to talk about her science project on. intelligent elevator systems using image classification so i can't wait to hear and i'm sure that you are going to enjoy this as well so let's just begin hey hi tanmay welcome hi. to speaker sunday how are you doing today i'm doing great thank you for asking how are you i'm good too thank you and uh, i can't wait to hear more from you but before we begin i am going to have a small q and a with you so i will ask some questions and you can answer whatever comes to your mind and you know whatever you think about it so are you ready yeah i'm really excited to be here so yeah okay thank you so much and i am really happy to host you here so the first question i do have is what do you do tell me something about yourself I am a fifth grade student, and I love to read and write. I write book reviews on the books that I read, which are chapter books for young adults. And I have a YouTube channel where I present my book reviews, and sometimes I even write stories. So it's fun. Wow, that's great! And you run your own YouTube channel. That's great to see. I would definitely post the link to the channel so that other people can also check it out. and how is your school going on like you know are you enjoying your online school it's a bit odd and weird because it's online school and i'm on on a computer most of the day but mm -hmm. other than that it's fine because most of the activities are the same mm -hmm. i play clarinet in my school's band i'm on math league which is my school's math team uh -huh. i'm in math and ela enrichment which are my school's um extracurriculum programs i got selected for those and i'm um also a member of the student council as i got elected a class president of my class oh, wow so you are a president as well and i can see that your school is keeping you busy in lot more activities even though it is online so what are your interests and likes are I really like to read and write as I mentioned before I like to learn new things especially in the kitchen because I like to cook now and then and I like to create my own um animations with scratch.mit that's coding mm -hmm. and I also really like to um play music because I like every type of music So as I mentioned before the clarinet that I play so it's something fun that I can do to um make music myself. Oh wow. And uh, what do you think what would you like to become when you grow up? I really don't know. It keeps on changing. And mm -hmm. uh, so my top options are a statistician, mm -hmm. a fashion designer, which I've wanted to be since I was little, an engineer or maybe even a teacher or shop owner. wow so it's like a five different fields and i can't connect those but let's see what it turns out in the future yeah. what are you going to talk today about i'm going to talk about my science fair project intelligent elevators what i basically did is i altered the elevator's algorithm so that it helps during this pandemic i used machine learning technology as in image classification wow sounds like a really very great idea i never thought about it so how did you land up having that idea or somebody suggested you or how did you come up, come across that idea this was actually a project that i did for school mm -hmm. and um for our science fair projects we were tasked to look at problems that we face in our everyday lives and try to solve them and one of the biggest problems that i faced because i live in a building was the elevator wait time it had really increased compared to how it was in like normal times mm -hmm. so i decided to solve it and you could say that i created um intelligent elevators oh wow i can relate to that because uh, 
when you have a building with lot of stories you have your weight type is lot more for your elevators to come at your floor so sounds like a really very great idea and i can't wait to hear and see your project so are you ready to show the demonstration yeah sure let's go so let's begin hello my name is tanmay hingmere i'm a fifth grade student at cornelia f bradford elementary I'm very excited to talk to you today about my science fair project, Intelligent Elevators. During the COVID-19 pandemic, I realized that the elevator wait time had dramatically increased. Now that there were only about 4 people allowed per elevator, it took longer for an elevator to arrive. Sometimes it arrived but already had 4 people in it, meaning that nobody else could enter. Time was being wasted, and so was energy. If energy was being wasted, that means money was too. I decided to solve this problem as it would benefit all the residents of New Jersey. But how would I solve it? To solve this problem, the elevator's computer would need to identify the number of people in it and then make an intelligent decision whether it should stop or proceed. I would need to alter the elevator's algorithm so that it only stops to pick up people if there are 3 or less people in the elevator. If there are 4 people in the elevator, it will proceed without stopping to pick up any more people. However, if 5 people enter the elevator, it will remain at its current position until one person gets out, continuing from there. To train the new algorithm, I used Google's Teachable Machine platform. I used the platform to create a machine learning model to identify the number of people in an elevator. To train my model, I needed many images of people in an elevator. To do so, I downloaded and used a photo editing software and began creating my data, taking top few images of people and changing the background to place them in an elevator. Then I used the images to train the model. Finally, I used both seen and unseen images to test the model. I will now show you a demo of my trained model. Before I show you the demo of my trained model, I will use this model elevator to explain the problems that we are currently facing with the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, there are 4 people entering the elevator on the first floor. that would like to go to the third floor. There are also two people waiting on the second floor that also want to go to the third floor. In a normal situation, the four people would enter, the elevator would stop at the second floor, pick up those people, and head to their destination, the third floor. In this pandemic, however, when the four people enter the elevator, and the elevator stops at the second floor no one will be able to get in because four people is about the maximum number of people allowed in an elevator this clearly means that time money and energy will be wasted now i will show you the demo of my trained machine learning model which will solve this problem this is google's teachable machine platform at teachablemachine.withgoogle.com It has classes, training the model, and the preview. In the classes, you can enter the images of the different categories you have. I have pictures of an empty elevator, one person in the elevator, two, three, four, and five people. After training the model, I got this preview, and I entered an image of an empty elevator. The model was able to identify that there were no people in the elevator and it was able to do this with 100% confidence. If I upload an image with one person in it, the model is also able to identify that there is one person in the elevator, no more and no less, with once again 100% confidence. If I upload an image 
with two people in the elevator, the model is able to correctly identify that there are two people in the elevator, with this time 97% confidence. If I upload an image with three people in the elevator, the model is able to identify that there are three people in the elevator with 99% confidence. If I now upload an image with four people in the elevator, the model is able to correctly identify that there are four people in the elevator with once again 100% confidence. If I upload an image with five people in the elevator, the model is correctly able to identify that there are five people in the elevator with 100% confidence. For this demo, I only used front camera view images of adult people. I did not include a back rear view, kids, strollers, pets, or any luggage. However, with this project, I can prove that machine learning technology can be used to create smarter elevators. If a similar algorithm is entered in every elevator used in New Jersey, lives, money, time, and energy can all be saved. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it and I'm expecting many more people, especially I would like to have more students and the professionals who are in their early career age to be the speaker on this Speaker Sunday and talk about any topic or the area they are interested in because I would like to hear more from them that what are their interests and what's going on into their life. So please, please, please reach out to me through my website or any other social media profiles, as well as I know there are a lot of awesome parents who are in the technologies or the in artists who are artists or the designers and all different areas. And their kids must be doing great as well in their respective schooling side. So, I would love to have them on this Speaker Sunday series. And as I always say, until we meet happy leading, let's live together. Stay safe. Bye for now.